In this video, I will share three easy methods to fix Fallen Feathers game not working errors on PC. So, welcome to Max Out FPS. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's begin. Method 1. Important Programs. We will now install two softwares, and you may think that you have them installed, but I need you to reinstall them again. I will also share fix files later in this video. For now, you first need the DirectX offline program from this page, and to download this, simply scroll to the download section and download the program from here. There are also a few alternative links, just in case the main download button is not working for you. You also need one more program, and that is the Visual C++ Offline program. And just like before, scroll all the way down and download the program from here. And I have already downloaded these programs, so let's install them together. First, we will open the DirectX folder, and you need to scroll down and look for this DX setup file. Open this from here, and accept the agreement of Microsoft, and hit next twice to install the program on your computer, and it should install the files within a minute. So our program is installed. We will close this program from here, and we will go back in files, and open our visual program file. And this is the software you need to open. Hit next and let the program install its files. This process can take up to two minutes, so be patient and let the program install its files. After the files are installed, you can then close this window from here. All right, we will now go to our desktop and run the game. And if your game is working, congrats. If not, we will now move to our next method. Method two, verify the files. For this method, you just need to open the software where you bought the game and verify game integrity. You can follow these steps on your screen for Steam and see if that helps. I will also attach an article link in the video description, which covers this topic for all platforms including Steam, Epic Games, and others. After you verify the game files, run your game, and if it works, then you are good to go. Otherwise, I have one more fix left. For that, we will move to our last method, which is applying a fix file. Method 3. Apply a fix file before you follow this method. After doing this, make sure to make a backup of your game, and you can watch this video on your screen to learn how to do that. After you do that, you need to open this page. I will leave a link to it in the description. Once here, you need to scroll all the way down and download the fix file from here. Just click on the download button and it should take you to this page. Click this download button to save the file to your computer. So I have already downloaded the fix file and here is my file that I downloaded. So do not extract this file. Instead, I need you to put this folder to the right side of the screen. Now I need you to open your game directory folder. This is my game's main folder. Now, before you install files from the fix file, you need to do one very important step, and that is to add your game to Defender's Exclusions. And you can watch this video on your screen to learn how to do that. Once you do that, it's time to install our fix files in the game folder. First, you need to place this folder to the left side of the screen, as we will now fix our game with fix files. Okay guys, now I need you to open this fix file with the help of the 7-zip tool. Do keep in mind that you need to open this file directly with an extractor tool. Do not extract the file directly as it may get blocked by Defender. Alright, open this folder from here, and you need to first open the first number 1 folder. We will install these files from here. To install them, you need to open the engine folder. Now drag the fix files to the engine folder, then press the replace button. Also guys, if this file is asking for a password on your PC, it is cutefox. Now go back in the fix file and open the second file number 2. We will now install these files, and to install them, you need to go back in the game folder and open the project folder from here. Now you just need to select all the files from here and drag them to the folder. Now wait for it to load up, and then press the replace button to copy the files. Alright guys, now go back and we got one file left and that is this last file. So go back in the game folder as well and you need to if you already have this file like I do, then you do not need to replace this file. But in some cases, you might have to. And if that happens, select this from the fix file and drag it to the game folder and replace the file. After you do that, all you need to do is run your game and see if your problem is solved. And if you have any question or still need help, feel free to write in the comment section with complete details of your game problem. For now, leave a like, subscribe, and maybe watch this video on your screen.